I know what you're thinking. I'll explain. Bear with me. Just want to point out this. Uh, it's not a fashion statement. It really isn't. Bear with me. Right, that's better. Normality has resumed. There's a very good reason why I did that. Now, I'm going to try my hardest to cover this as best as I can. Right, now, well, can you just see the top of the head there? It's obviously, you know, um, reasons. Uh, yeah, but you can see, obviously, it's a chick's head and she's got that. Uh, yeah. Right. That is your first red flag to GTFO. You know, you, you, you get out of Dodge sharpish, right? I am talking in particular about dating and stuff like this, right? <clears throat> this is just something that um, came across one of my many profiles that I have out there for um, sometimes. Sometimes I'm actually looking for some sort of inspiration. I think for the most of the most part, it's just there for my entertainment, if I'm honest, because I can't take people that seriously. So let's read a bit about that particular individual and I'm not giving away any names what app or anything like that right it starts off with in the words of Marilyn Monroe I'm selfish impatient and a little insecure I make mistakes I'm out of control and at times hard to handle wait for it but if you can't handle me at my worst then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best translation I'm selfish, impatient, and a little insecure. Okay, so selfish. Let's let's go down the the personality route. Narcissistic, right? Impatient, also narcissistic. She wants what she wants. She wants there and then it has to be done, and if not, you're the problem. Now, never mind any any uh, factors in life that might be a thing, right? No, no, no. Forget all that. It doesn't matter to them. And a little insecure, so she's also going to want to be the centre of the tension most of the time. Think about that. I'm out of control, and at times hard to handle. Well, what happens when, when a guy starts to try and air quotes handle? I, I don't mean any physicalities, I mean like um, trying to point out the obvious, you know, that maybe they're being a bit of a dick about themselves. And um, yeah, they, they need to uh, they, they need a bit of a reality check on themselves, you know. Remind them that um, they're not the be all and end all of the planet. It doesn't evolve around them. And then, even if the best, right, which I think is also a bit of a giveaway, right, with regards personalities and what they're like as an individual. So you have to put up with all that bullshit and fuckery for what, 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes of, of someone being at their best before the next thing crops up and they decide it's upset them for some reason or another or something didn't go their way. Now look, I don't know anything about this person. right? I'm just basing their character on what I can read about them, what they have said about themselves and what I know about people. You know, it's uh, it, straight from the get-go, just in putting that in the words of Marilyn Monroe, right? Well, in the words of Marilyn Manson, I haven't got enough middle fingers. <laughs> I really haven't to tell people like this where they need to go. I really haven't. So let's carry on. Divorced 16 years ago, in brackets, a lifetime. Yeah, and I wonder why. I wonder why. Even if she called it, it doesn't matter. I bet the guy is better off, you know, mentally, emotionally, potentially physically as well. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if these people admit to being out of control and hard to handle, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they got a bit physical from time to time. But hey, if you can't handle them at their worst, you don't deserve them at their best, right? It's like, come on, seriously? So she's been single for nearly six, six years. In brackets, half a lifetime. Mother of two kids. One's 20, the other's 16. Enjoys the gym so she can have a takeaway and a drink at the weekends. Has fabulous friends and social life. Just looking for that elusive spark and missing piece of the puzzle. 
How many times have I heard that from crazy women that they're missing that piece of the puzzle? No, no, the piece of the puzzle that they're missing is usually up here somewhere and they ain't never going to find it because it hasn't been there for so long. They've become so detached from the reality that so many other people, in this case men, live in that there, there is no piece to that. There's, there's not even a fucking puzzle there anymore. It's that bad, you know? And, you know, it's like, you know, when, when they describe, like, uh, other sort of, like, quirks about themselves, like, quick-witted personality. Now, look, I'm, I'm a fan for a bit of quick wit and personality, but e even that can have its drawbacks, you know? Um, and it, it, it's no real surprise that, you know, someone like that works in a in a primary school as well. She's quite open about this. I mean, you, you kind of want to know a bit about each other on, on these dating apps, so I suppose what you do for a living does sort of count. And I've had a bit of an uh, experience, I mean, I, I had enough of an experience with teachers when I was at school. Um, yeah, and then the, the, the more, the more I see teachers now, and the way they behave in society, and the way they treat other people, you know, it, it, it's like they're, they're doing you a favour. Now look, you, you could even argue with this one, because um, I was having a chat with a friend about this the other day, and they sort of pointed out that, yeah, you know, when, when it comes down to the sort of political side of it, a lot of these teachers do tend to be quite left-leaning. You could argue for radicalised, you could argue for that, I, I would say in some cases. And a lot of them seem to be girl power advocates, you know, wearing wearing a bandana like like they do, and you know, we can do anything a man can do. It's like no, you can't. <laughs> you know, it it sort of, and I, I get it. This is also like that. Just that. I mean, I, I just don't know, man. Like where 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 they get off. A lot of them thinking that, you know. They they think the patriarchy is actually a thing, like re really even now in twenty twenty two, despite women having more privileges and rights than the average man, and you still think you're oppressed. It's like, fucking wow. Yet again, to quote Marilyn Manson, I literally was not born with enough middle fingers. Anywho, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do in the meanwhile because it's there's a something that cropped up and I thought you know what for those of you that are out there and you're still trying to date you're still trying to find someone that's right for you my opinion my opinion is if they say that they're a girl power advocate you know hard pass if they've got pictures that makes them look like one hard pass because it, this would be like one of the one of the girls that I dated uh, quite some time ago uh, there was no sort of thing about whether she was pro girl power advocacy or anything like that but she did have a few pictures with the bandana and I I kind of clocked it but I thought like mm, maybe not you know maybe it's just me being a bit judgmental or something no I was right to go with that judgment uh, and I kind of figured that out the hard way anyway look I'm going to wrap this one up relatively short and sweet video um, more about pay attention pay attention to profiles pay attention to behaviours and if the actions and words aren't congruent and don't meet up, hard pass all day long. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Have a good weekend. Stay cool. Stay free. Peace out.